we are the student of final year 2021 of chemical technology department shop sr rotary institute of chemical technology our id is of project 122706 topic of today's presentation is synthesis of phenolene by acid catalysis our project is guided by assistant professor jaydevan vasudevan sir and yashwant patel of vipra pharma the aim of project is to prepare phenolene by acid catalysis the objective of project is to prepare phenolene and to use eco friendly acid catalyst abstract phenolene is a hydrocyclic aromatic organic compound with chemical formula c9h7n phenolene is used in manufacture of dyes preparation of hydroxy phenolene sulfate and niacin it is also used as solvent for resins phenolene has several anti malarial derivatives including quinine chloroquine and primaquine it also has application as an anti asthmatic and anti inflammatory approximately 4 tons are produced annually according to a report published in 2005 thus quinoline and its derivatives have a variety of application in various field quinoline and its derivatives property in drug and pharmaceutical turn quinoline very attractive to organic chemists hence develop a new and convenient strategy for the synthesis in high yield is much needed uh, quinoline can be synthesized by various procedures such as crab pitzers fridlander and combs However, Friedlander condensation is one of the most common method for synthesis of phenolene derivative. It involves reaction between two amino aldehyde or ketone and other carbonyl compound having a reactive alpha methylene group in presence of acid or base catalyst. However, some of these procedures suffer from drawbacks such as long reaction time, low yield, formation of byproduct, or use of corrosive and expensive catalyst. So we have tried an environmental friendly way to prepare and Quinoline derivative by acid catalyst sawdust HCl. Advantages of using solid acid catalyst are the separation of the product from the reaction medium is easy. It does not involve the lengthy process. Catalyst can be separated and can be used several times with or without the much reduction in activity. Thus, saving cost of the catalyst. The separation process involved are generally selective. Thus, providing catalyst recovery reactivity selectivity reaction. In this method, the catalyst sawdust is taken from the uh, local sawmill and reacted with the HCl in presence of the dichloromethane, which gives us the sawdust HCl. The reactivity of the catalyst is tested by using it in the reaction of the two amino aryl ketones and uh, methylene ketones. Benefits of using sawdust HCl to industry and society are. In this matter, sawdust, a waste material of timber industry, is used. It is environment friendly catalyst because it is biodegradable. Also, sawdust is obtained in large amount. In it increases yields of phenolic derivatives by reaction. It also reduces the reaction time by 50 minutes. The catalyst also provides solvent free conditions, thus saving cost of solvent and working up of solvent. Cost of production will be decreased as catalyst is low. Low cost. Also, catalyst can be recycled. And reduce without much de decreasing activity. It helps in reduce reduction of phenolic derivatives cost in terms of reduction in cost at which it will be placed in market. Conclusion: It can be concluded that base product of timber industry sawdust is modified be used as catalyst in process. The project was made by Harshil Pan uh, Harsh Patel, Krish Panchal, and Samar Patel. Thank you for the watching this video.